everybody and welcome back to another extra video. Today we're hopping into the 12th episode of the ninth season of Smallville Absolute Justice Part 2. Uh, the first part was really, really good. We got to be introduced to basically the old Justice League. I know it's the JSA, which is uh, the Justice Society of America. Um, and all the members that were there, we had Carter Hall, aka Hawkman. They had Green Lantern, they had the old Flash, Jay Garrick, then Dr. Fate, um, and Stargirl, and basically we were introduced to these old heroes that were a part of this family that basically went underground, and now I guess one of their enemies is in a coma, but their son is out avenging their death, and he basically has a meteor power, or a power of some sort. Um, that is to do with ice. So cool. And uh, Clark's being introduced to all of them. So very, very cool. Very cool reveal at the end when he's taken off like all the all the the tarps off of like the big table and the picture. Like oh, that's so cool. Um, yeah. So I'm excited to get into uh, the second part and see and you know the conclusion of this uh, two part uh, episode. So it's it's freaking awesome. I love it. Um, if you want to see my reaction to um, the previous episode, is al is already up on Patreon, obviously. Um, I will have already put it up on YouTube, so you can head on over there to watch my reaction to part one. Um, and as soon as you're done with that, head on over here to part two. Um, you, can, you can see my full reaction at my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or, you know, hang out right here on YouTube, that's fine. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm ready to continue on to part two. Grogu's ready, so let's get into it. This is the second part, or, excuse me, we're gonna backtrack. Sorry, they don't do parts, so I don't know how to, how to phrase this. Okay, this is the 12th episode of the ninth season of Smallville, Absolute Justice, part two. There we go, that worked. Let's go. Oh, literally starting off exactly where we left off. Yes. Awesome. Hey, Hawkman. Dr. Fate says you're a big deal. I don't see it. Well, well dang it, man. This generation will make the same mistakes the last one did, like the one before that. You don't even know who we are. You don't know who we are either. Fair. None of us here are the bad guys. Facts. You sure about that, Clark? Uh, okay, Oliver, Oliver, Oliver. I hope I didn't make you cry. Drop the mace, Conan. I will. On your head. You bring a big bird. Oh, okay. Oh! Yo! Alright, alright. It's too late to say we come in peace. Yes! Versus me and Editor! You guys is a little blurry when it comes to justice. You mean what you've read? It's none of their business. With all due respect, we're making it our business. Hmm. Even when I had the power to leave Earth, I chose not to. For one reason. Hope for the future. Humanity's capacity for violence is great. Yes. But their capacity for hope is greater than any I've ever encountered. Yeah. There's a murderer on the loose. As long as you know something about it, we're not going anywhere. Fair. Lois, my love! Where were you last episode? Truth will set you free. Okay. In big bold letters. Mud wrestling again, Lois? Tess Mercer. What brings the big boss all the way downtown to a little newspaper that could? Print is dead. So is privacy. Damn. I'm expecting a package myself. And you know the mail room here? They can get things a bit mixed up. My name, in print. Mm-hmm. I guess I haven't been having many problems. We tried our best to stay out of the public eye, but a government task force got wind of our extracurricular activities. One by one, they uncovered our identities. Damn. They had us arrested and institutionalized. Yeah. They forced us People out of the skies and off the streets. And why didn't you fight back? We did. For as long as we could. As I could. I wasn't the leader they thought I was. I made too many mistakes. I've made mistakes, but I haven't quit. 
haven't quit. You haven't started. <laughs> There's over a dozen members of the Justice Society still out there. If we don't team up and stop the icicle, he'll go after them next. It's obvious you still care about this team. If you didn't, you wouldn't have kept watch over all of this. Mm. Yeah. This is a temporary alliance. Fair. Do you have any idea we can find us? Yeah, let's team up, team up, team up. Yes, Chloe! <laughs> There's a couple possibilities where Icicle might show next. Security cameras caught him at the hospital visiting his father last night, target one. And if he's anything like his father, he's going to need to replenish his abilities with some liquid nitrogen, target two. Hmm. I just need to look at their computer. Got one? Really? That's not gonna help. Where are the pictures? Or, you know, a place to sit down and eat? Sylvester always told me that the JSA's brownstone was considered a second home for everyone. I mean, they'd even spent Thanksgivings there with their spouses and kids. Aww. So it was like a family. Yeah. Right? There's a what? family. How did you get involved with the Justice Society? My, um, stepfather, Pat, was Sylvester Pemberton's psychic, Star Spangled Kid, and Stripe C. <laughs> Stripe C? Right. <laughs> it's like the worst code name ever. Right. I found Sylvester's old equipment, and well, first I put it on, you know, just to annoy Pat. But the first time I ever saved someone, you were hooked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Line and sinker. <laughs> yeah. Maybe your team would operate better if you didn't get together only when there was trouble. And Fair. He made it a little more home sweet home and a little less nuclear war room. <laughs> I she's kind of got a point. God, I hate waiting, but you love talking. <laughs> Why did the team us up together? I asked them to. What are you, my chaperone? Think of me as your parole officer, but with a mace. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dynamic. It's so fun. I see everyone's fate, but my own. Man, that sucks. Sometimes. When you saw my fate, what did you see? You will leave this generation as Hawkman once led ours. Mm hmm. You sound like a group I met from the future. Yeah, the legions, yeah. Destiny, but they were as vague as you are. <laughs> let me be specific. Oh, cool, thank you. Although Lex Luthor is your ultimate opponent, you will triumph over him. Lex. Ah, I haven't heard that in a while. Not and yet. You show yourself to the world. It will be a different age than ours, Clark. A silver age of heroism. That will start when they look up into the sky at you with hope for tomorrow. And you will help everyone to embrace it. Hello? Hello? Hey, Lois! She shouldn't be in the middle of this. She is the key. Oh! She is the key. Careful, Lois. This is the part where the doomed girl runs into the guy. Greetings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, different kind of mask. Nice helmet. Thank you. <laughs> I was looking for protocol. I see your fate, Lois Lane. You are the one he will need. He is the one you will need. <laughs> the savior. The one who will heal us all. The sentient power. <sighs> Well, that's not vague and ominous at all. You're taking this assignment too personally. Mm -hmm. That's because it is personal, Waller. Agent Waller. Oh, Amanda Waller? Cool! Maybe you pulled me out of juvie, but the only reason I agreed to go on these little missions of yours is to get a shot at the Justice Society. I grew up in Chicago, I said. The cold doesn't bother me. <laughs> Yeah, it is mad cold in Chicago. I'm not gonna lie. I killed everyone you asked me to. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have all this blood on my hands. This is personal. You don't like it. Find someone else to clean up your mess. You're right. It's a black mark on Checkmate's board. Then let me finish it. All right, then. You can either hand those to me or I can take them from you. Well, it sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> Suspicious much? Maybe you two really are perfect for each other. Yep, they are. You're smarter mm -hmm. when you're leaving. What do you know about this? Not much. Just that your girlfriend is in way over her head. Yep, she got the info, man. I heard you were working on some kind of murder case. 
And I've got my hands on a case full of classified intel. Mm. Like double super classified. <laughs> Sorry that I was out, Lois, but maybe I can assist you. We could be like Woodward and Bernstein. Clark and Lois. Lois and Clark. <laughs> so yeah, that sounds better. How did you get on the case, Lois? I was handpicked by an anonymous source. The two people that were murdered had criminal records, but it's all fabricated. Clark, they were vigilantes like Gabor. I met one of them. He was wearing a gold-plated helmet and a cape, which actually looked pretty good. <laughs> right? Their leader, a man named Carter Hall almost killed one of their enemies, someone named the Icicle. He had a son, and here's the weird thing. He was plucked from juvie by someone very high up. Now, I'm not supposed to know this, but there were other bad guys that these underground heroes fought, and every single one of them was released from prison secretly. They and their records, MIA. Someone's collecting them. For like a, another suicide squad? You see what I see in Clark Kent, but without the aid of the helmet of Nabu, I look into the window of the future, and witness what might be but eventually it became too much i saw too much yeah we are in danger oh he's frozen we're too late he's already been here it's not your fate to die this day marshal oh what the hell just happened <gasps> Said that too. <laughs> when this is over, don't let the torch that he kept burning, the one that he literally passed on to you, go out. Keep his legacy alive and you keep him alive. Dude, this season he is becoming more and more like Superman. It it is just it's so great to see. I love it so much. Those are classified. Yeah, she didn't care. And why is wondering how they got here? They were left for hey, Lawler. Why me? I've read your work. You pull more skeletons out of closets than the organization I work <laughs> for have hidden. You embrace the truth. <laughs> and the truth will set you free. <laughs> I'll be in touch. Okay. Uh, interesting. You straight up murdering your dad. Uh, that's not cool. What are you seeing? What are you seeing? What are you seeing? Okay. You know, it's not what happened to you that destroyed this team, is it? It's what happened to her, right, hot girl? Oh, I'm trying to remember. Was it there in like, um,. Arrow or Flash, where they had for like a couple episodes, like crossover, right? In like season one or two or something? One of them. They all blend together eventually. We were cursed by one of our enemies. Destined to fall in love only to watch each other die. Lifetime after lifetime. Fuck, that sucks. Well, the sooner this life is over, the sooner I see my wife again. Yeah, you got other business to do here, dude, though. Never had a connection like that. At least not one that lasted. Because you hide it. You don't want anyone to know how important they are to you. So you act like a jackass. Mm -hmm. I do know what it's like to feel like the only thing left to do with your life is throw it away. But you didn't, did you? You stuck around for Dr. Fate. He needed my help. He did. He needed your help. And now there's a young girl out there. And she's counting on you. The rest of your team is out there. So why don't you take the death wish and shelf it? Things heavier than it looks. <laughs> Oh my god. I love this so much. <laughs> no more pairing off. Mm. We should have stuck together. 
together from the beginning. Right? Probably. Oh, here he is! Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! Don't hurt Chloe! Oh, no, get him, get him, get him! Yo! The team up, the team up! This is so cool. Oh! 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 Yes! Oh! He's got his powers back! Yes! Let's go! Now you're done, dude. Oh, damn. You're not like the others, are you, Clark? No. Kids who are in it for the thrills or because they have a chip on their shoulder. You don't do this for glory or vengeance. I guess not. <laughs> no, he doesn't. The team is better than I thought, too. Even I have to admit, Green Arrow has pretty good aim. <laughs> <laughs> We're not a team. You're not like yours. Best friends that I had, Carter, but I don't know if we'll ever be what the GSA was. You'll be better. You have the capacity to break the chains that are holding you down, Clark. When you do, you will soar higher than any one of us. Hmm. Yeah, you. you will. You give you justice. Society lives again. So what do you call your team anyway? <laughs> A work in progress. <laughs> Dr. Fate was inundated with a constant flow of visions and information. But there is a limit to how much knowledge someone can have. It drove him to the edge of sanity, and he fell off. I don't need my telepathy to know you run that risk yourself. I can handle it. I only say because I care. You and Clark, Oliver, you're my family here. I, uh, I thought I'd stop by and see if anyone was hungry. I could use some dinner. Me? I'm hungry. Can I come? Can I come? Uh, sure. You buy it, Mr. Clean. <laughs> Front page, Clark. Nice. Good job, Lois. I that a group of underdogs can be swept under the rug like that. Well, at least thanks to you, the world now knows who these heroes are. Hopefully we'll be seeing more of them. It's not every day that you get an exclusive with a helmet head that can tell you your fate. So, <laughs> he told you your fate. He was just babbling about how I'd be there for him and he'd be there for me. It just sounded like a Valentine's Day card. <laughs> Who's the him? It's ridiculous. Uh, I quote, uh, savior slash sentient power. Hmm. Do you believe in fate, Wallace? Only the kind you make happen. There you go. Let me go back out there after the Justice Society, Agent Walter. Uh, I don't think she wants you to. I can still take down the JSA single-handedly. You knocked on their door. You got them back into the game. Back yeah. into the public eye. Mm -hmm. That's a mission accomplished, Icicle. Oh, she used your ass. There's an army of heroes growing. And I'm going to need them if we want to survive the apocalypse that's coming this way. Oh, is she talking about... The Kryptonian? Welcome to the Suicide Squad. Ah, Suicide Squad! Yes! Oh, that's not a yes. Oh shit, she straight up murdered. Agent Him. No. <gasps> She's also part of Checkmate. It's been a long time. Oh my God. <gasps> All right, let's talk about it. Well, that was the 12th episode of the ninth season of Smallville Absolute Justice Part 2. And oh my god, I'm just going to do a complete um, recap of and talk about the entire two parts together now. I know in the last episode I did like a small little recap, but this one I'll kind of go more in detail on the whole thing. But this was really, really, really cool. Oh my god, bringing back... All of these um, superheroes and all of these uh, past superheroes, I think it's like from the Silver Age, and they said, it's like, isn't that, I'm pretty sure that's like an era of comic books that these guys are from. Uh, I think, if I'm wrong, you guys are going to kill me, but I think I'm right. 
Um, it's just so cool. We got Hawkman. We got to see Dr. Fate. We got Stargirl. And basically, it was a team up to um, not only uncover these guys from the JSA who were part of basically the Justice League before the Justice League and um, bring them back into light and also encouraging basically the new heroes to become a league of their own. So uh, this was just really, really, really cool um, between like Dr. Fate, not only restoring Martian Manager's powers, he's back. That's awesome. I'm excited. I love Martian Manhunter and the fact that they brought him back and not only brought him back, like, but now he's powers again. Awesome. That's awesome. I'm so excited. Um, we had like the big team up between everybody and like our group of heroes learning from the old group of heroes. Like it's not just about going out and saving the world. It's about making these people your family. Like this is their home. And like talking about how they need to be a team in terms of like not just meeting up to when like there's trouble, but let's hang out on a Friday night and go out to dinner or something, you know, like that whole thing, which is really cool. And like encouraging everybody for who they're going to be, which is awesome. And I think it's so great. We got to see Dr. Fate basically tell Clark, like, hey, like, you're going to soar higher than anybody, and you're the one that's going to bring this new team together, and this light and this hope that Clark is going to bring is so freaking cool. I am so excited. And, of course, Dr. Faith brought, uh, so we also got introduced to Checkmate, who um, is led by none other than the Amanda Waller, who from the Suicide Squad, and she actually said Suicide Squad. What? Ah, so cool. Um, and and of course, of course, Tess is a part of this. Of course, she is. Why wouldn't she be? Um, so we'll see what new thing. Like, there's so much this season. There is so much jam packed in this season that it's ridiculous between Clark and Lois getting together and everything going on with Oliver and him falling off the wagon and trying to get back and, and dealing with um, like having an apprentice. And then we have these guys of the, the old, you know, Justice League, basically the JSA. And now on top of all the Kandorians coming from the past, coming into this world, trying to find their powers, and Zod's trying to take over the world. And on top of that, now you have Checkmate. Are you kidding me? There's so much. But somehow, it doesn't feel as discombobulated as, like, Season 7 did when it felt like it had, had a lot going on. There were a lot of different pieces and a lot of storylines going on. This one, it feels much more cohesive for some reason than Season 7 did. Um... But this is really, really good. I mean, I, I could be completely wrong, like, and it could become much more discombobulated in the second half of this season. But uh, so far, <laughs> um, this was just really, really cool. Um, I know I keep saying that, but I don't know of a better way to, to phrase it. Like, I just loved everything about it. It was so cool. And, of course, we had, um, you know, Lois being told that, you know, she's the key to everything. And she's the reason, basically, that Clark can become Superman, which is so cool. And that, um, you know, she'll be there for the sentient power. And um, just in talking about fate. And um, I, think, I think that just proved in Clark's mind that she was the one, I think. Even though we all know she's the one. Um, I think it just cemented that notion that he already had in his mind. Uh, even more, and that's so cool. Um, yeah, like I, I, this was so good. Um, I hope we get to see them again because they're awesome. And this is a cool team up episode. And Oliver and Hawkman were hilarious together. Are you kidding me? They're the biggest comedy duo of this episode. Ugh. And I also love the fact that they address Chloe's lack of life outside of Watchtower, which is great that both Clark 
and Martian Manhunter also, like, were, like, you can't live your life behind computers, basically. You need to go out and live it, um, or else you're going to go crazy like Dr. Fate. And um, I hope she takes this to heart, um, because I, I think I said after episode 10, I believe, I get where she's coming at. I get that she, her heart got shattered. It got obliterated when her husband died. So I completely understand her just diving into being Watchtower. I get it, but it's, I, I agree about the pacing of the show being like, okay, now we're about halfway through the season. Like, you need to get out and start having a life again. I'm not saying she needs to date again. I'm just saying, like, do something for yourself. Have fun. Like, Get, get away from behind the computer. Like, even Clark knew that when he was in training with Jarrell that he, in order for him to be the best uh, hero that he could be, he needed to be a part of this world. And yes, a major part of that was he just wanted to be close to Lois, but let's, I can't blame him for that. She's Lois. She's awesome. Um, but I do like the fact that, okay, so Chloe's got to take that same advice of like, have a life that's outside of Watchtower and saving the world and trying to keep the scene together. Um, but, um, this was a good lesson for Clark to get his team together. Um, I don't know. I, I freaking, I freaking love it. And I'm sure if I knew a lot more about the comics, I'd be totally freaking out right now. Um, much more than I am, but I don't know, it was just really cool. That's, that's all I can really say. I love, I loved it. I loved everything about it. I'm sad that Dr. Fate is gone, but I'm glad that uh, not only Clark gets to know about his future and how awesome it's going to be, but also that Lois knows that, uh, she is the key to everything. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Um, so I'm actually going to do the tally board and the, um, grades on the episodes um, separately, but it'll kind of come together. So, uh, last episode, part one, we only had one, a plus two for hospital visits because both Pemberton and, um, Sandman both were in the hospital, even though they both were already dead, I'm still counting it. So we're at 133 for that. And last episode, I actually gave that, um, an eight. So it was solid, just eight, but it, just, it set up everything. Not a lot happened. Um... But it was very solid about them investigating everything that had happened and getting into the JSA and everything, which was cool. Um, in part two, though, we had a plus one for POC characters with Amanda Waller. So we're at 47 for that. And, of course, another hospital visit because we had uh, Icicle's father in the hospital. So he was comatose. So we're at 134 for that. And this last episode, I actually gave that a 10. Uh, this last episode was brilliant. It was fantastic. I loved everything about it. It's a 10. So between the, the part one and part two, it's averaging out to a nine. So it was great. It was solid. I loved everything about it. And I hope you enjoyed my reaction to part one and two of absolute justice. And, um, yeah, that, that was that. If you want to see my full reaction, you can head on over to my Patreon page. I'll have the link in the description below. All right, right here on YouTube, that's fine. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next episode.